I'm Fred Thompson, executive editor of Edible Piedmont Magazine, a magazine that focuses on the best of local. And when this really cool wine shop today, and in Chatham County, Unwind, what a great name. And Joni's going to tell us a little bit about what makes this wine shop special. And then we're going to drink a little wine. All right, great. Unwind is um, a wine shop that features nothing but North Carolina wines exclusively. We carry about 30 to 35 North Carolina wineries. Also, everything you consume in this shop, as far as our food products, is made in North Carolina. So we sponsor, we feature about 50 entrepreneurs in the state, small business people who produce North Carolina products, and we're very proud of that. All right, you pick one for us to try and sort of show folks how to go about evaluating the wine. What have you brought us? Okay, we have a Chamberson here, and um, it's one of the most popular red wines here in North Carolina. It's also a wine that, uh, or a grape variety that tends to grow well from here in the Hall River Valley all the way up to the Yadkin Valley. That's it's correct. one of our more solid reds that we, that we uh, grow. It's a French varietal, so it goes very well in North Carolina. One of the first things you need to do in evaluating wine, and I know that to, to some of you this may look a little pretentious, but it's not. It's kind of part of the enjoyment of having the wine, is you want to look at color. And this particular wine is always going to be sort of a deep purple. You shouldn't be able to see through it, which you can't see through this one at all, which to me tells me that it's got some character and it's going to have some lingering uh, effects on the tongue. So once we've kind of looked at it, um, then we're going to swirl it a little bit. And what we're doing with the swirling is we're trying to put a little air in it. I mean, the thing's been packed in the bottle for a while. It needs to breathe. So we're going to get a little bit of air moving in it. and you're releasing some of the flavors and the notes that you need to have to really enjoy wine. And to me, this is one of the best parts about drinking wine is smelling. This is where you get all the essence, all the fruit, all, the, all those good things that, that the grape picked up from the land that it was around. You get it and it sort of sets your taste buds up for what's to come. You will find me smelling wine sometimes more than you will find me drinking wine. And this has a beautiful, beautiful nose to it. So now I'm going to take a little sip. Now, what I've also done here is I've sort of run it back and forth through my teeth. It's kind of like when you're, uh, you know, when you were a kid and you wanted to kind of spit on your little sister who just ticked you off. You're, you're putting it back and forth, back and forth. You're also giving it more air, but you're coating your taste buds, you're coating your tongue with the wine. And it's, it's we've got different taste buds have different spots, so they're all picking up neat little things from that wine. You should see fruit first, body, and then there'll be the alcohol as it kind of goes down. The alcohol should never ever be overpowering or overpresent. What I really like about this wine is it has this wonderful long finish on it. <clears throat> it's not tannic at all. So many big wines have this tannin, this acidity to it. And this is the part where you get to really savor the wine. It holds on your tongue, it holds in your throat, it makes you anticipate the next sip, and it also makes you anticipate how good this is gonna taste with a, with a food product that you might be having. Come and see Unwind but enjoy North Carolina wine and understand that it's grown leaps and bounds in the last 20 years. We're taking our rightful place as a wine producer in the United States and the world. Thank you, Fred. Thank you.